Welcome to the Dynon Channel, your video source for information, education, and training on Dynon Avionics industry leading line of integrated avionics for experimental amateur built and light sport aircraft. Today's topic Skyview System Controlling the Integrated Mode S Transponder. Operating Skyview's integrated transponder is really quite simple and requires just a few button presses to accomplish any given task. First, however, I want to mention that uh, the transponder is the one menu accessed from the main menu, which will time out after six seconds of in inactivity by the pilot and return automatically to the main menu. For that reason, you'll see me continuing to press buttons as I discuss these, this uh, feature so that we don't time out inadvertently. First of all, let's press button 5 labeled Transponder. Here you see the main transponder menu. Notice the first three items labeled Ground, On, and Alt refer to the transmo transmit modes of the, of the uh, transponder. And by the way, the state of the transponder is enunciated in the top status bar where you'll see the squawk code listed and then the transmit mode. Also notice that one of these three trans mode, transmit modes is highlighted gray at any given time. In Skyview, a gray label denotes a feature that can be turned on or off. Thus, one of these transmit modes is on. In this case, ALT, for example. You'll, you will notice also that there is no standby mode presented. In Skyview, this transmit mode is activated by simply turning off whichever transmit mode was gray. Here you see the mode is now SBY and the squawk code still 1200 and the standby mode also is enunciated by the yellow digits rather than green. Here you can see we've timed out because I wasn't pressing any buttons. Returning back to the transponder mode uh, menu, notice button 5 says code. Pressing that gives us the 8 numeric digits for setting a code. I'll set a discrete code momentarily of 4522. Uh, and I'm going to return to the ALT mode, squawk mode. Notice here's my discrete code up above. Button 6 labeled VFR allows me to return the 1200 VFR squawk code to the status bar. But also notice that's a gray button denoting a feature that can be turned on and off. If I press that button again, I turn that feature off and we return to the last discrete code I had entered. I'm going to go back now to the code menu and actually manually enter the 1200 squawk code, so we're back on the right code. The last feature on the transponder menu is button 7, labeled IDENT. That merely causes the transponder to broadcast in its IDENT mode. Now I'm going to time out, uh, go back to the main menu. I want to show one last example of setting a code in the simplest fashion. Uh, this process requires only six button presses. First of all, we press button 5, labeled transponder, and the code button is on the same button. Press button 5 again, and finally press my four digits, 1, 2, zero, zero. and that's all there is to enter in the code. We're back where we want to be. We simply stop pressing buttons, and the system will time out that menu, and here we return to the main menu. And that's all you need to know about operating Skyview's integrated transponder. For more information on planning or capabilities of the Skyview system, please see our website at dynonavionics.com, where you can find links to our system installation guides, pilot user guides, and other valuable information like our user form. Thank you for watching the Dynon channel.